President, earlier this year you told us you had ordered your administration to cease and desist on payments to journalists uh, to promote your agenda. You cited the need for uh, ethical concerns and the need for a bright line between the press and the government. Your administration continues to make the use of video news releases, which are prepackaged news stories sent to television stations, fully aware that some or many of these stations will air them without any disclaimer that they are produced by the government. Comptroller General of the United States this week said that raises ethical questions. Does it raise ethical questions about the use of government money to produce stories about the government that wind up being aired with no disclosure that they were produced by the government? Uh, there, there is a Justice Department opinion that says these, um, these pieces are within the law so long as they're based upon facts, not advocacy. And I expect our agencies to adhere to that ruling, to that Justice Department opinion. This has been a long-standing practice of the federal government to use uh, these uh, types of videos. The Agricultural Department, as I understand, has been using these videos for a long period of time. The Defense Department, other departments have been doing so. It's important that, the, that they be based upon the guidelines set out by uh, the Justice Department. Now, I also I think it'd be helpful if local stations then disclose to their viewers if that's, you know, that this was based upon a factual report and they chose to use it. But evidently in some cases that's not the case. So anyway. To guarantee that's happening by including that language in the prepackaged report. Yeah, I don't, you know, look, I mean, oh, you mean a disclosure on George W. Bush and I? Well, some way to make sure it couldn't air without the disclosure that you believe is so vital. Uh, you know, Ken, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a procedure that we're going to follow and the local stations ought to, if there's a deep concern about that, ought to